Once the affected area has been correctly diagnosed, damaged decorations and floor coverings should be taken down, timber skirtings and architraves lifted, and all plasterwork removed to a minimum height of one metre above floor level, or at least half a metre above the highest evidence of dampness, whichever is the greater. Any debris which causes bridging of the damp-proof course must also be removed. 12mm diameter holes are then drilled at regular intervals through a level mortar bed, at least 150mm above the external ground level. The depth and positioning of these holes will be determined by the type of wall structure, though in general they should be no more than 120mm apart. Almost all wall types can be drilled from one side in a single operation. Dry zone damp proofing cream is shipped in easy to handle foil cartridges and once placed within the applicator gun a sharp blade should be used to remove the end of the packaging and the applicator cap securely reattached, ready for use. The delivery tube should be inserted the full depth into the pre-drilled hole and the gun trigger gently squeezed, back filling each hole to within one centimetre of the surface. Externally drilled holes should be either plugged or pointed over after application. The high strength dry zone formula has been specifically designed to utilise the moisture in a damp wall to aid its distribution and as slow curing to maximise diffusion through the mortar course. The patented compound lines the pores of the mortar and once cured repels moisture creating a dry zone which acts as an effective barrier to damp. The unique silane siloxane formula contains over 60% active ingredient and is scientifically proven to offer long-term protection against rising damp.